So you're driving down some nice two-lane highway and all of a sudden your dash lights up like a Christmas tree and it looks like this. What does it mean? Or if you're the driver giving me a call, usually you're stuck in some mud hole someplace in the middle of nowhere on an oil field location and you can't get out. Either way, it probably means you're having a bad day. In this video, I'm going to be going through all of the different types of check engine lights and variations of, you know, the SCR after treatment lights and the DPF lights. These indicator lights are for the Cummins on-road heavy-duty engines. If you're with a different manufacturer like Detroit or something, these lights are SAE symbols, and so they are universal, but it, your truck may behave a little bit differently than, say, a Cummins would. So first up, this is your check engine light or the amber warning light. Uh, it comes on when your engine is going to need to be serviced right away at the next available opportunity. You still have probably a little bit of time before the next stage, but you know it's not something that you can really get away with ignoring. So if you ignore your check engine light for too long, you're probably going to see this light next and it's your stop engine light and you're going to have to stop as soon as possible and basically this means that you're going to be behind that truck with the nice big hook on it that helps you get the really good fuel economy. At this point too your engine's likely going to derate itself and you're not going anywhere anytime soon. Modern heavy duty on-road engines all come with onboard diagnostics and this light here is your malfunction indicator lamp or mill lamp. This light comes on when there is a malfunction in your emission system. Basically what it means is you're, need, you're going to need to take your truck in and get it serviced at your next available opportunity. This light will also show up in conjunction with other lights that will give you more information. If you see your mill light come on with your stop engine light, you're going to need to stop as soon as possible and you're likely in a derate situation anyway so you're limited to probably five miles per hour. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to either take it into a shop or get a service truck or something. Tow truck. It's all possibilities. This light is your diesel exhaust fluid lamp or DEF lamp. It comes on when the diesel exhaust fluid level is low. It's not at a critical stage yet, but you will need to fill it up pretty quickly. Once you fill up your tank with DEF fluid, uh, this light should go out. If you choose to ignore it and not fill up your DEF tank, then eventually your engine's going to derate, but there's a few more warnings before that happens. So your next warning is that your DEF light is going to begin to flash. Uh, so yeah, your DEF fluid is even lower. The corrective action is to fill up your DEF tank and carry on your way. So if you still haven't filled up your DEF tank, you're going to see this, the check engine lamp and the flashing DEF light. Basically, you've got to a critical level in your DEF tank and it needs to be refilled. And so now your truck will be derated once you fill up again with diesel exhaust fluid, your normal engine operation will resume. So if you continue to ignore the previous lights or warnings, this is what you're going to see. Flashing DEF light, check engine light, and a stop engine light. Basically, you've run out of DEF fluid and your engine will be derated to 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. Once again, once you refill with DEF fluid, you'll be back up to speed again. So those lights are fairly easy to remedy if you come across them just by refilling your diesel exhaust fluid. The next lights are a little more tricky. 
So this light has to do with your diesel particulate filter and it is called the high exhaust system temperature lamp or HEST lamp. It basically just indicates that you're having high exhaust temperatures and this usually coincides with uh, a regeneration taking place. Generally, it doesn't require any action from you as the operator. It's just for your information, so you're careful, you don't burn yourself. You know, wherever the emission system is located on your truck, like under the passenger step, it's going to be extremely hot there. Basically, you want to keep your truck away from any flammable materials, fuel or, you know, rags, whatever the case might be. Sometimes if you're like in a refinery or some kind of situation, most trucks will have a regeneration inhibit switch. So what this does is you can flip the switch on and your truck will not do a regeneration until you flip the switch off again. So, you know, if you're going into an oil field location or a refinery or some place where there's going to be combustible materials, maybe a mill even or something like that, you flip the switch on, you know, you get loaded or you unload, do whatever you got to do. You get out of the location, then you have to remember to switch this, the switch back off again. Otherwise, your truck will not do its proper regen and you're going to have all kinds of issues with the DPF plugging up and so on. So this light is called your after treatment diesel particulate filter lamp. And it comes on when your truck needs to do a regeneration. So you can do a regen by two different ways. One, you can change your driving duty cycle. So you change to a heavier driving cycle, you know, go out on the open highway, pull up a big hill, something like that. You need to work the engine. The other way you can do it is by performing a stationary regen. So you can get your truck engine up to temperature, press your regen button. It'll run through its cycle. It usually take you know, anywhere half an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how bad it is, and it'll clean itself out. Also, if you've forgotten to turn your inhibit switch off, this light will come on after a time because your filter will start to get full and it's not able to clean itself out. If you do not perform a regeneration when the DPF light first comes on, after a while, it'll begin to flash. This indicates that there's a higher level of particulate matter in the diesel particulate filter and that a regen is necessary. Um, your engine will also derate slightly. So like I said before, either switch to a heavier driving cycle, like on highway driving, or do a parked stationary regen. So the next step is you're going to see check engine light with the flashing DPF light. What this means is you need to do a regen immediately. Uh, engine power will be reduced and, and you have to do a parked stationary regeneration. If you continue to go on without doing a regen, you're going to see a stop engine light. At this point it's gone too far and you're going to have to take it into the shop. They're going to have to hook up a computer to your truck and do a forest regeneration and probably other maintenance because the filter will probably be plugged. So it ends up being big dollar. So it's worthwhile to pay attention to the lights, see what, know what they mean so you can act accordingly and save a lot of downtime and money. If you have any other questions regarding emission systems or uh, malfunction lights or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Also, uh, if you're interested in a video about troubleshooting emission systems, let me know in the comments. It's a lot of work for me to put together, so I need to know if it's worth my time. So leave a comment about that below and also if you found this useful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.